Okay, so when you mix epoxy, uh, there's something called isothermic reaction, and it's when two components start reacting together and they produce heat, and uh, that accelerates the uh, curing and it hardens. So uh, when you keep things cool, uh, you win time. You prevent the uh, the thing from uh, turning into gel too soon. It's called uh, kickoff time, I think. Anyway, uh, sometimes people uh, use um, uh, trays for paint and they stick uh, ice between the two and then they mix epoxy in the top one and then they use a roller and, you know, uh, apply it somewhere. But when you use uh, things like these, uh, you would have to submerge it into something or you know, like cold water uh, and it's a little bit more problematic. Uh, th this is made for small batches but you know in today's climate Florida it's just even even the slow hardener that I have uh, it kicks off in no time so I really waste a lot of material uh, because of the temperature. So uh, I've made this uh, little 3d design uh, it's hollow on the inside uh, long story short is that uh, these things look, that look like cherry pie uh, those are pipes uh, below the uh, the chamber and this chamber is for the uh, for the mixing pot this is 805 by West system it's reusable epoxy does not stick to it uh, but um, this thing uh, once it's printed uh, it has hollow walls and it's separated from the outer walls to make sure that there's not a lot of condensate forming on the outside because when you work with something and then you have you know, drops of, droplets of water uh, or water running down the, the walls, it may mess up your uh, surface. It, you know, if you touch it and then you touch your uh, project, then it might uh, contaminate it with water and then moisture is not good with epoxy. So <clears throat> you have to keep the two separate, but at the same time you have to cool it down. So uh, that's why the idea here is to fill this with water like halfway after it's printed. I've drilled a, a little hole right there and the idea is to fill it with water so that the water gets inside. Then I'll um, uh, seal the hole and put it in the freezer. Uh, so, um, the water expands when it freezes and uh, that will add some pressure on the inside, but it shouldn't be too much. Uh, the expansion is like 9% and if you only fill it halfway up, there's plenty of air uh, left and it should hold. Uh, anyway, so after that's full of water and that's frozen, uh, you just keep it in the freezer and when you mix your epoxy you put this there and uh, that's it and um, I didn't do it you know the whole height uh, for one simple reason or well, many reasons save material make it smaller lighter but also if you cool uh, too much like let's say you have this much epoxy but then you have ice up to here uh, the um, uh, temperature on the inside uh, will attract moisture, it will form the uh, condensate and that'll end up in your epoxy mix. Once again, spoiling your epoxy mix, moisture and epoxy is not good. So, uh, that said, uh, this is on printables.com, this is my latest and greatest design. I hope you find it useful, uh, I'm pretty sure I will in this heat. And uh, thank you for watching.